Hello, my name is Nikolai Green and in today's video I'll show you how to enhance your travel photos using Lumina Neo and all of its features. I will show you step by step how I edit my travel photos from all around the world using Lumina Neo. So let's just jump into the program. So now we are in Lumina Neo and I have chosen this photo from Costa Rica because I really like how it feels, it really gives me the travel vibe. First of all, we are gonna go into the develop tab and then we're just gonna press auto adjust so all the exposure and we have all the details here i am gonna turn the shadows up a tiny bit so we get some more detail out here then we are gonna make it easy and go into the enhance ai tool here and we're just gonna turn that up a tiny bit here we can also do the sky enhancer and i really like this because it only affects the sky for this photo i want to make sure that the masking is done correctly they have a tool here which is really nice called Realight AI. You can choose to affect only the brightness to near the camera or the brightness far away. And as you can see now, it's not totally correct here because there's not there's still bright down here. But you can just change that in the depth. I'm gonna move it all the way down. And then we're gonna turn up the brightness a bit out here just to get some more light into the, the photo. Then we're gonna go into the landscape tool because there's a feature here called golden hour. We are gonna turn this up a bit and then we're gonna move it a bit to the blue. So we have some color contrast from out in the green area here. And because this is kind of misty from all the waves and the water here, we want to go into the, the glow feature here. And I want to emphasize that a bit more. So add some more glow into the photo uh, now it's getting very orange out here so we're just gonna go into the color section here and in, into the hsl go into saturation and then the yellow we're gonna turn that down a tiny bit and then into the hue and we're gonna make it a bit more orange like this lumina new also has a really nice feature called mystical here and it just adds a bit more of a soft look to the photo and if i turn it all the way up you can see like all the bright areas are getting, are getting soft which kind of like we're going to turn it down a bit just to add a bit more of a softness to the photo the smoothness we're going to turn up a bit it just makes the masking a bit more smooth so there's not going to be any edges here we're going to go into the erase tool and we're going to draw over the person here and then we're just gonna press erase and it's gonna remove them from the photo. And as you can see, it's done a really nice job removing those. So now we only have me here. I'm gonna show you how to change the aspect ratio of the photo. So you can go in here and you can see all the different aspect ratios. I really like the 16 by nine here. Use the guidelines, so the, the rule of thirds here. And I like to, to keep the subject down here in this, and then we can just click apply. You can also crop it for other different things. We can go back, revert it up in this one. And when you go in here, you can see there's different templates here for Facebook, for example. So a Facebook feed, you can also go in and change it for Instagram, for example. So you change it to four by five, it is still horizontal. So you just click on the bottom up here and you have a four by five aspect ratio for Instagram photo post. If you want to change it into a nine by 16, so for an Instagram story, you just change it into 16 by nine, click here, and you now have a crop for an Instagram real photo or an Instagram story. If we go back to the original and you want to make sure that the horizon is straight because you can see it's a bit off here, you just click on horizon alignment and it's gonna find the right horizon alignment and Boom. When you have cropped it now and the edit is done, you just click up on the export button here. You just choose the quick exp export for JPEG. You choose the folder you wanted to export it to, and then you are done. When that's done, you can just crop it for whatever you want. It's the same photo, the same edit, you just cropped it differently. And then you just do the same for the other different formats. This is a very easy way to export the same photo for different formats. If you have different platforms you post on, for example, Facebook, Instagram, maybe a YouTube thumbnail, it can be everything. I'm gonna show you the before and after on the screen now, and then I'm gonna show you the different aspect ratios I decided to crop it for. So for example, the Facebook feed, Instagram, uh, Instagram story, YouTube, thumbnail, etc. I really hope you liked the video and can see how easy it is to edit your photos the way you want in Lumina New with all the new AI features they have to make it more intuitive and way easier to get exactly the, the result you want. Make sure to like the video and comment down below what you think about all the features they've added into Lumina Neo. I will see you very, very soon.